How to use Snapchat on PC. Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Snapchat on PC. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is open your browser and kind of go to snapchat.com. Or alternatively, you can simply click the link on the description below. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this platform. And if you don't know Snapchat, it is a popular multimedia messaging app that allows user to send photos and videos, also known as snaps, to friends and followers. And aside from that, Snapchat gained popularity, especially among younger users, due to its fun and engaging features and temporary nature of content, making it all appealing platform for sharing moments and experiences. And Snapchat offers a variety of features including stories, filters and lenses, chat, discover, and snap map. And from here, the next thing that we need to do is to download this application into our desktop or PC. And to do that, just click the download button on the top right corner. And from here, all you need to do is to scan this QR code using your mobile phone in order to log in your Snapchat account. Or another way, you can just click this button that says log in to chat in which upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page. And from here, to log in to Snapchat, just enter your username or your email address, or you can even use your phone number to log in with Snapchat. And after that, just click the next button below here. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed in here, and just enter from here your password in order to log in to Snapchat. And after that, just proceed by clicking the next button, and upon clicking on it, you will be directed in here, in which it will show you that you have now successfully logging in to your Snapchat account. So just click Get Started button, and from here, it will show you some other features. But the next thing that you need to do is to allow this platform to have access to your notification, camera, and audio, so that you can start sending a snap using your PC. And from here, just click Got It button, and you will see here some other options that you can navigate. By clicking the camera, you will be able to send picture or snap using your camera on your PC. So kindly click the snap button and after that it will show you a download button and send to button. And you can also even add a context by clicking the text icon on the top panel of it. By clicking send to button, you will be able to send to some of your friends from your Snapchat. And aside from that, on the left side panel, you could also navigate your profile icon to show other options including theme, turn off sound effect, turn on notifications, help center, report a problem if you have one, I have a suggestion, account settings, privacy policy, logout button, and you can even create a desktop shortcut. And from here, by clicking the help center, you will be directed in here, in which on this page, it will show you some other features, and you can also ask your question and your concern. In which from here, you will see the related articles or some of the frequently asked questions, including how to change Snapchat for web permission, for notification, camera, and microphone, and how to screenshot work on Snapchat for web. And by clicking on any of those frequently asked questions, you will be directed on the page in which it will show you the corresponding answer to your concern. And it will show you the step-by-step -step process on how to solve your concern or problem. Now going back to this page, if you have other suggestion, you can set it them using this I have a suggestion option. Aside from that, you can start navigating all of those options. And as you can see here, the Snapchat on PC offers a limited kind of features unlike to some of the feature that you can see and experience using your phone. So that is just one way to logging in a Snapchat using your PC, since alternatively, there are other ways to log in or sign up your Snapchat using your PC. And the other way is using the emulator for PC, including Bluestacks, Docs Player, and many more. And if you don't know emulator, it is a software or hardware tool that enables a computer system to imitate or stimulate the behavior of another computer system or a different platform. And emulators are valuable tools for various purposes, such as software development, legacy application support, and preserving older technology and software for future generations. 
So let's say we're going to use this blue stocks. From here, you will see other application that you can download using this emulator. So that means this platform or emulator will serve as a Play Store or App Store of our PC. In which on the search bar, you can start searching for Snapchat. And after that, you will now have access to Snapchat and start logging in your account in order to send a snap and experience other feature that offers on Snapchat using your PC. And aside from Snapchat, there are also a variety of applications that you could also download using this emulator of BlueStacks. However, it is important to note that the use of emulators may be subject to copyright laws and licensing agreements, especially when running a proprietary software or games that you don't own the rights to. So always ensure that you're using emulators and their associated software legally and ethically. Now moving on to the other way to access Snapchat using your PC is so by the use of screen mirroring, also known as a screen casting or screen sharing, in which it is a technology that allows you to display the screen of your smartphone or tablet on a larger screen of your PC, in which this enables you to view your mobile device screen in real time on the larger display, in which this kind of feature is very helpful in terms of presentations, gaming, media consumption, troubleshooting, and many more. However, the process of screen mirroring typically involves using Wi-Fi or other wireless technologies to establish a connection between the mobile device and the receiving device. So if you screen mirror your PC to your mobile phone, you will see the display of your mobile phone to your PC and if you open Snapchat to your phone, it will be displayed to your PC. And you can start accessing a Snapchat using your PC with the help of screen mirroring or screen casting. However, for screen mirroring between the PC and a phone, you might need to use dedicated software or applications that support this feature. And the specific steps and requirements will depend on the devices you are using including their operating system and the available screen mirroring options. And now the other way to access Snapchat using your PC is with the use of spectacles, in which it is a line of smart glasses developed by Snap INC or the company behind Snapchat, in which they were wearable devices that allows users to capture photos and videos from their perspective and directly upload them to their Snapchat accounts. And spectacles were designed to enhance the Snapchat experience and provide a more immersive way to share moments with friends and followers. And some of the feature it included is camera integration, hence free recording, synchronous with Snapchat, and unique perspective. So if you want to access Snapchat using your PC with the help of spectacles, you can start connecting these spectacles with access to your Snapchat account to send some of the snaps that you take or video that you take using spectacles. However, these spectacles are very costly since it offers a variety of designs in order for users to experience the advancement of technology using these glasses called spectacles. So those are some of the ways that you can do to access Snapchat to your PC. So that is just how to use Snapchat on PC. Thank you.